So there's this weird connection between ponies' names and their cutie marks. Flyer has a liar, Cheese Sandwich has a cheese sandwich, Snips and Snails have, well, scissors and a snail, Silver Spoon and Diamond Tiara, you get the point. These are just naming a few. Now this isn't the case across the line, but the fact that it happened more than once is mysterious. Were those ponies called that before they got their cutie marks? And more importantly, how do ponies even get their names? <laughs> In our culture, it's tradition that we name our children at birth. But maybe you might be thinking ponies' names are given to them later in life. That would explain a lot. It's possible that the ponies I mentioned before were called one thing up until the point when they got their cutie marks. Once they cease to be blank flanks, they go by whatever their cutie mark is. This theory has some serious problems though. Look at Featherweight, he had his name long before he got his cutie mark. Plus, just like us, it seems as if all ponies name their kids at birth. Take the baby cakes for example. I would be surprised if their cutie marks didn't end up having to do with pumpkin cake and pound cake. And think about the CMC. If their cutie marks don't end up matching their names, I doubt they would start going by something else. So we're back to square one. Let's figure out what's going on here. I'm pretty sure we can assume that most ponies aren't psychic. I'm sure there are exceptions, but Filthy Rich probably wasn't looking into the future when he named his daughter Diamond Tiara. But what if the job of naming new ponies doesn't belong to the parents? Like I said, the parents can't predict the future, but what if someone else can? Someone who can see the destinies of the newborn ponies and name them likewise. Is it possible that Celestia names them? In the past, Celestia has been shown to have an incredible amount of foresight, especially regarding destiny. Maybe Celestia personally visits newborns and names them. It is just a theory, but let's say it's true. Would every pony be named by Celestia? Remember, not all names and cutie marks match up. Well, I think yes. Even when there's a difference between name and cutie mark, most of the time both relate to the character of the pony in question. Notice Verity's name isn't Diamonds, but because Diamonds are rare, her name still fits her. Also, Balloons doesn't make for a very good name, but the name Pinkie Pie gives a similar impression. See what I mean? Names and cutie marks are two totally different mediums, so it only makes sense that one looking into a pony's destiny wouldn't always name the pony according to their cutie mark. The future talents and character of a newborn pony are unknown. Because of this, I'm convinced that ponies are named by someone who does know. Not necessarily Celestia. Who says it even has to be a person? It's a possibility that some force tells parents what to name the pony, directly or subconsciously. Although the answer could be a lot simpler. Who knows? Maybe everyone was just born with labels. There's lots of possibilities, but what do you guys think? I want to hear what you have to say in the comments. This is the Brony Notion, signing out until next time. Bro Hoop. Blank flanks? More like dank flanks. <laughs> Wow.